Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. We have another awesome tutorial for you today. Even Clombo came to check this thing out. This is going to be a custom cannon tower here where you can rotate full 360 degrees. We can go ahead and shoot our cannonballs. We can even hop on in this thing and launch ourselves on over to some distant villages we may have on other islands. Now take a look at the distance here. That's super cool. Also, just wanted to point out, it looks great too, and this is all using free parts and fits in really nicely with this new Lost Isles update. Anyways, that's enough of me yapping. Let's get right into the build. Here's a look at the material list that you're going to need. Now, I don't have all the exact counts here, but you're definitely going to need a few stacks of wood, some wood planks. We also need three copper bars. Now, the mahogany, that can be found in the new Lost Isles Island area by breaking down some trees. So we're going to need 12 of those. We'll also need 12 of the silk fabrics. We're going to need three granite and then lastly, two cord. Okay, so for step number one, we're going to go to our supports here. We're going to make our way down to beams. So we're going to grab this rustic beam four. Now, we're going to place one down. And then for this next piece, we're actually going to have it right up against the edge here. We're going to place one there. We're going to do the same thing here, but this time we're going to keep this also on the outside. Right there. And then the last one, we're just going to go place right up against there. We're just going to create a nice little clean box and border for where we're going to be placing the cannon. Next, we're going to move into floors. And here, it doesn't really matter what floor piece you use as long as you follow these dimensions. And that's going to be the 8x8x1 eight by eight by floor pieces so you've got this in the rustic floor you've got it in some of the castle floors i'm just going to use the noble floor this is from the uh, lion knights castle bundle but we're going to place one down right there and then next we're going to go over to toys we're going to grab this new piece now these are awesome this is actually the controllable swivel and we're going to place one down right here on the center of that floor piece next we're going to go into walls we're going to start by using the fort wall two and we're also going to be using this fort wall three now, we're not gonna actually set this on top of the swivel. We're actually gonna put this right off towards the front here. Now, the idea though, is we just wanna make sure that it's not touching the floor. So just be sure you have a gap between the bottom of that piece and the floor. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the fort wall three. We're gonna make sure that the tops are actually flush and level with one another by just simply making it on the outside edge of that piece there and then nudging it over. And then once it's lined up, nudge it back one until it turns green. And then there we go. We've got a connection just like that. That's how we should be looking. Then we're gonna put another one of the Fort Wall 3s on the opposite side here. And then we're just gonna fill it in with the Fort Wall 2. So we're gonna get some stairs down, but I recommend when you're doing this part to step away ways back, because we're gonna have to nudge these pretty far away. Uh, for this build so you can use any one of the 18 by 8 by 12 stairs uh, i'm going to use this shack stairs actually because they're the cheapest and what we're going to do is we're going to make contact with that post that we just put in but what we're going to do is we're going to nudge it back until it turns green and then once you have it turn green we're going to count 12 nudges towards us so we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and we're going to place down our stairs from here, we're gonna to start to build some floors around this. And what we're gonna start with is the eight by eight by one. And now the reason that we have to keep this gap is that this is going to be turning and swiveling. So we wanna allow it to have some room to maneuver around. So the first thing we're gonna do though is place down the eight by eight by one. And we're gonna place another one on both sides of it here like this. Then we're gonna take the same exact floor piece. This time we're gonna snap it in here, but we're gonna nudge it over four spaces. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do the same thing on this other side. One, two, three, four. And then from here, we're going to connect another piece here. And what you'll see is once we put this one in, we're gonna have that exact spacing we need. So just go ahead and place another one here. We're gonna build this around until we complete our square. And then we're gonna fill out these missing pieces here with the rustic floor three. That's the eight by four by one. We're just gonna snap one there and one right here. Now let's go ahead and fill in the inner square here with thin floor pieces. We're gonna start with the 16 by two by one. We're gonna place one on the back and the front here. And then we're gonna move over to the smaller version of this, which is the rustic thin floor three. And we're gonna fill out the inner part here, or I'm sorry, the right and left sides here. Now we're gonna go into our walls here. We're gonna grab this beam wall. Now this piece is an early unlocked one and I love this piece, this is a great one. The way we're gonna get this thing in here is we're gonna actually aim at the underside of our floor here. We're gonna to come to the outside edge here and we're just gonna nudge it out one additional uh, nudge. You're gonna want that top edge to be basically hanging off the floor just like that. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're just going to snap another one in here. We're gonna repeat this process around the outside edge until we have the entire thing boxed in. Now 
Now, once we get to this section, however, you're gonna have to break away your stairs here. But that's okay because all of your floor and everything should be supported with the supports that we just put in. And we're gonna go back to this piece. And we're just gonna continue to put these in. And now just go around and make sure that all of your pieces are making contact with the floor above. What you can see here is I misplaced this one and it's actually reversed. We're gonna take care of that and we're just gonna snap one in just like that. Now we will be putting stairs back in, but before we do that, we're actually gonna grab this umber wall and we're gonna start to build a little bit of a kind of outer decoration type piece. By snapping one in here, we're gonna go right into the corner just like that. And we're gonna do another one in this corner until we have all four corners complete. And then from here, what we're gonna do is they're actually gonna, we're gonna cover up this little gap here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna snap into the ones that we just put down. We're gonna nudge over 14 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Actually, I, I apologize. That's gonna be 15 spaces. And then we're gonna nudge it forward until it turns green. We're gonna place one here just like that. It should be good and lined up with the front. We're gonna do the other thing on the other side here. We're going to snap in, we're gonna nudge over 15. and nudge it forward two spaces. To put the stairs back in, we can do this one of two ways. You can actually get rid of this and place your stairs up the center if you choose to do so, or if you want them offset, you can just snap into that floor piece there, and then we're just actually gonna have to nudge this back one until it turns green there. And just like that, you have some stairs you can come up and get onto your platform. Now we're gonna build our cannon tower up one more level here, and the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna use the same parts that we've used for the first part of the base, so let's come on back to the, what is it? The fort wall too. We're gonna snap them in like the front and back here. And then we're gonna go to the fort wall three and we're gonna place those on top just like this. Now let's go back to our umber walls here where we're actually going to place them on top of the supports that we've already put down. So we're gonna place one there. We'll also place one here in all four of the corners. We're gonna put one on the center points here as well. And I almost forgot, so my apologies. We're gonna jump back down here. We're gonna fill in these as well. So we're gonna nudge these over 15 and back two like that. We're gonna stack one more up here. Let's just repeat the same exact thing on the other side here. Next, we're gonna go back to our beam walls and we're just gonna snap these into our corner pieces here. Now, you just wanna make sure that the design is actually facing outward like that. We have those little kind of Lego stud pieces uh, facing inward. We're gonna do it like that. We're gonna put another one here. And we're gonna leave this one open. That's gonna be our entrance way. We'll do another here. And continue to fill out these walls until you have them all complete. Build up to our second level, we're gonna go to our stairs. We're gonna use rustic stairs one, and the way we're gonna place these in is we're gonna come into the corner here, and we're gonna make sure that it's nice and snug into the corner. We don't want it overhanging our piece right there like that. We wanna nudge it back to where those studs are exposed. And then from here, we're gonna nudge back eight spaces. So we're gonna count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're gonna make our way up top here. And this is a piece that we used earlier. This is gonna be the rustic floor four, the eight by eight by one. And we're just gonna snap these into the stairs and start to go around the outside edge here and complete a square. Now I said complete a square, but honestly right here, you can either leave it like that or I like to close it in a little bit more. We can use the rustic thin floor and we're gonna place it down just like that. You don't wanna completely close this off because what'll happen is you won't be able to utilize your stairs to get up to the second floor. Similar to what we did down there on the first floor, we're gonna go back to the thin floor pieces here. This time we're going to be using the uh, rustic thin floor four and we're gonna fill in this part right here. We're gonna do the same thing on this other side. And then for this section here, we're gonna move back to the thin floor three. And then this section here, you're actually gonna just do a thin floor three right here on the outside of those stairs. And next for our top section, what we're gonna do is make our way over to the half wall section. We're gonna find the umber half walls. Now these are going to be placed on these posts here on the inside edge of the floors that we have here. Now the corners, we can just go ahead and fill in. But these ones that we have up front here, we're gonna stack on top of that and we're gonna nudge it back till it's actually on top of that part there. We do the same thing here. And again, in the corners. And lastly, right here. 
Now I just realized there's a lot of new players. If you're wondering where the half walls are located, they're gonna be in your building parts under walls, but you're gonna have to scroll all the way down to where you're gonna find these half wall sections just below like the doors and windows. But this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the log half wall one. And we're gonna place these on top of our base here. We're gonna put the log half wall ones right here up the middle on all four sides. And then we're gonna fill in our corners with the log corner here. Then in the roof section, we're gonna go on down to this Fort Palisade one. This is the log cabin stuff. And we're gonna put these caps on top of every single one of these posts here. Next, we're gonna go to fences. We're gonna grab a railing corner. Now the free part, I think the only free railing corner that there actually is, is going to be in this medieval section. Now you could leave gaps if you don't have these, but I do recommend if you do, we're just gonna place them down in the corners here up against the outside corner post. We're not gonna put anything in the middle ones here, but we're just gonna go around like you're seeing here, here, and here. Then we're going to go into the roof section here. Now this is located all the way towards the bottom of this menu and we're going to find our Fort Palisades uh, log cabin pieces. We're going to start off with the uh, Fort Palisade 3 and we're going to place these all in the outside corners like this. We're going to do another one here, here, and finally we're going to place them here. And then we're gonna go back around and we're gonna fill this in using the Fort Palisades two and one pieces. And all we're gonna do is put one there and then we're gonna put one here and do the same thing for the rest of the sections that we have to fill out. Now, when you get to this section, there's really nothing to connect to in terms of like that piece that we've got these resting on there. So the way we're gonna get these in now is we're just actually gonna snap into the existing ones and then we're just gonna nudge it over until it turns green. And then we're gonna fill in using the exact same pieces. So you can just go ahead and snap these in like this and finish it off with one more piece here. And then from there, that same little railing corn that we've used, we're just gonna snap this right into the corner like this. Now this looks incomplete to me. So what I recommend doing is we're gonna close up this top part here a bit. We're gonna go on over to our supports. We're gonna go make our way down to these rustic beams. Now these new pieces are an awesome alternative. These can be incorporated into this build, but if you don't have them, we're gonna use rustic beam four. We're just gonna place one right under the underneath side of this here. And we're gonna place it in right like that. Now from here, let's go ahead and add some railings to our stairs. You can use any one of the railings that you have uh, available to you. I'm just gonna grab this medieval railing for now. We're gonna snap one on both sides here. We're gonna do the same thing on this stair set. This time, we're only gonna put one towards the inside edge here. We're not actually gonna put one on the outside. So these next parts here, like right here that are hanging open like that, are a good place to put any type of decor that you'd like on them. I like this new salty seaport ship, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place these right on top like that. And we're gonna place these all the way around the outside. And we're gonna go into the fences and grab these plank railings. And we're just gonna basically snap these in. Uh, and we're gonna have them basically right on the outside of that central post there that we've got running up the middle. We're gonna do the same thing around. These aren't gonna connect. Uh, we're gonna leave these little gaps open here, but just go around the entire outside here. And we're gonna place these in. Now, if you do have uneven ground and you get to a certain point and you want them to all be flush, you could start to snap these pieces into one another. But, uh, you know, just go ahead and use your best judgment as you're placing these down. They don't have to be absolutely perfect, but like, for example, here again, if this was uneven, you could snap here and just notch it over like that. We're also going to add a crafting bench into the mix here. And the reason for that is because we're going to need cannonballs for our cannon. Now, this takes granite and blast powder to craft. So I have a chest for both granite and blast powder right next to it. It's going to be very, very easy for you to go ahead and store things away and keep it organized. And then we've also got some additional storage underneath here, as well as some storage chests up top for our cannonballs. So aside from really decking this thing out a little bit more, we are off to one last thing, and that's to get our cannon here up on top of our pillar. Now we're gonna be needing six planks and three copper bars for this part. So make sure you have those materials ready to go. And we're gonna set it right on top here, and we're gonna nudge it to where the back end there 
is nice and flush with the back of that. So you're gonna really want that square to be good and even across the top of our support here. And once you have that on, it's actually pretty cool. You can just aim up towards the seat here and it's gonna allow you to either sit or load cannonballs. So what I suggest doing first, if you're gonna be shooting cannonballs, go ahead and grab some of these out of our storage. We're gonna then go over here and hit the Y button. Then you can grab these from your actual inventory and place them in. And then from here, what you can do is just go ahead and sit in there. And let's talk about the controls here. Now, everything you're going to need to know in terms of controls are going to show up in the bottom right hand side of the screen. So whatever it's prompting you to do to swivel, in this case, I'm using RB and LB. You can go a full 360 rotation on this thing. There's also the aiming here where you can aim it up or you can aim it down. And then also we have the fire button. Let's see how our aim is going to work out here. Let's go see if we can take one of these pigs out actually. Bam, just like that. So if that was a, a skelly or something, go ahead and feel free to take them out from your village. And now, in my opinion, the coolest thing about these cannons is you actually can move up front here and we can get in the cannon and we can launch ourselves. This is such a cool feature and you go pretty far. Now, there is a question of whether or not, you know, what's better, is it gonna be the launch pads or the cannon? Quite honestly, I don't really care. I think it's just so much fun to jump in that cannon and launch yourselves. And you can also cause damage to structures and enemies by launching yourself into them. And now in terms of dressing this thing up, you can see I've got the pirate flag up there. We've also added some lights around the corners, added a couple more of those railings on top of these fence pieces there. And then another cool detail too, is that I use these umber walls and I actually put those at a 45 up against the corner posts here and added a little bit of additional like width and texture and some more of those fence pieces up on top. If you enjoyed this build, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. It definitely helps me out. And also check out some of the other tutorials and content I have. This is a LEGO Fortnite specific channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in again. This is Haskin signing off. I will catch you all in the next one.